With the increasing landing speeds of aircraft, some method of arresting had become necessary, and this attempt at the RAE in 1930 was the first since the early sandbag inertia system was abandoned in 1922. The aircraft is a Fairy 3F trailing a hook that engages in transverse wire. The ends of the wire are attached to hydraulically controlled brake drums. There is some difficulty at first in determining the correct suspension point of the hook, which, if too far forward, caused the aircraft to pitch. At this trial these points were settled, and in 1931 arrestor gear was installed in HMS Courageous. This is the Fairy 3 again doing the arrestor hook engages, the arrestor gear arrests. Another view of the arrested landing. These trials proved successful and the arrestor wires had come to stay. There were modifications to hooks and their suspension points for the different aircraft and their varying landing speeds. Later a double reading system of arrestor gear was introduced. With this experimenting was introduced the V-frame hook. Here is the Fairy 3F fitted with one. This was an attempt to distribute the loading on the fuselage as the machine is arrested. These early machines were not designed to withstand the extra load due to the rapid deceleration being applied to one particular spot. With the introduction of the deck arrestor gear comes a new entrant for the Navy, the Hawker Sidley's Osprey, a two-seat reconnaissance fighter powered by the Rolls-Royce Kestrel engine. Here it is doing its first landing trials on Courageous with the new arrestor wires. The intention was to use this machine also on cruisers carrying light catapults. When so used it was converted into a float plane. The Osprey proved to be a very good aeroplane I was still in service at the commencement of the war in 1939. From the same stable and at the same time came the Nimrod a single-seat fighter. Its engine was similar to the Osprey's but it had a 20 knot higher maximum speed with a better climb and maneuverability. The Nimrod is doing its first arrestor trials with Courageous and like its companion was a very good aeroplane and still in service in 1939. Here's a Baffin. This is the Rippon converted by the introduction of an air-cooled engine. An AWPV 21 stroke 26. A private venture Armstrong Whitworth single-seat ship plane fighter with the supercharged Armstrong Sidley Panther engine.